product shortages and price increases made buying fireworks this year a challenge for consumers and sellers. As we head into the holiday weekend, we are checking in on how sellers adjusted to these challenges. Paige Blanzi is live at CNC Fireworks in Mapleton. Paige. Thanks, Amber. I am here with James and Christina Slater, owners of CNC Fireworks. What was it like getting all of the supply of fireworks? Because I can see you guys actually still have a lot. Uh, this year we've had to go a lot more places, several different states where we're used to having all the stuff shipped right to us, you know, importing it from China. And then so this year we've had to uh, go several different, uh, get a hold of several different vendors and stuff and, you know, calling some favors with other people to get us uh, more supply, you know. And I've seen dozens of people walk in and out still buying fireworks. Has it been steady like that all season long? Um, business has been great. It's just been booming around here, you know, so we just hope it just, just continues. And I know you guys did have a, had to raise prices because of the shortage. Have people reacted to that? What was that price increase like? Um, really, everybody hasn't really complained too much. We only had to raise some, maybe five or ten dollars in some items, and that's been about it. So a lot of people haven't been really complaining about anything. So they've been happy with what they've had to pay for the product. And were some of the best items that you guys usually sell, were you able to get them this year? Uh, we were kind of short on some stuff right at the beginning, but uh, a few of my friends pulled to get some stuff together, and we, we got everything that we needed that we wanted to have this year, so it worked out well for us. Amazing. Thank you guys again. Yep. And CNC Fireworks is open until Monday, so you still have a chance to come out and get those fireworks. Reporting live in Mapleton, I'm Paige Blanzy, 25 News. Back to you.